So today is Sunday, February 11th, and I thought since it was Sunday and I am still trying to get over the frustration of my computer eating the last two chapters that I have worked diligently on and spitting it out somewhere, um, I would do something nice and make Samoan stuffed brownies for my family tonight. I got the recipe off of, off of Facebook, off of a website called Delish. So I will put the recipe for the Samoan stuffed brownies on in the description below. It was relatively easy. Uh, the only thing I had to compensate for was I double batched the recipe because we love brownies. So yeah. So without further ado, here is Samoan stuffed brownies. All right. So today we are making Samoa stuffed brownies. And you're going to actually need the Girl Scout Samoas, or if it's not Girl Scout cookie season, you'll need a off-brand of them, which we discovered Keebler makes. You're going to need some semi-sweet chocolate chips, one box of brownies, but of course I can never do just one, so I have two, and some caramels. And some coconut. I have already toasted this coconut, but it comes like this. Untoasted. I looked everywhere for toasted coconut. So, we have to toast it ourselves. And those zucchinis are going to be for something else. that We're not using those right now. <laughs> anyway, I am going to start off by showing you guys how to toast your own coconut. The first thing you're going to want to do is set your heat to medium and you're going to want to put your untoasted coconut into a pan. You can also do this in the oven, however, I found that it was easier to keep an eye on it on the stovetop and instead of using a frying pan, I'm actually using like a pot, like a soup pot. So, and it, I didn't really measure this out, I just covered the bottom of the pan. Um, and you're going to want to keep an eye on it because coconut, believe it or not, is very easy to go from toasted to burned. And I did not add anything to it. Coconut um, has its own oils. And so it, when I looked up how to toast the coconut, it didn't recommend adding anything to it. So it's just a pot, a stir, and your coconut on medium heat. While you're waiting for your pan to warm up, you can go ahead and get your baking dish ready. I'm going to use the Pampered Chef Deep Dish Baker. <laughs> I don't even know if that's what it's called. Hold on. Nope. Could not find the name of this pan. That's how old it is. Um, but it is part of the classic collection, so if you know what it's called. It actually, when I bought it, it came with, like, a cover like a roasting pan. Um, I use it for everything from cakes to salmon to whatever needs to go in the oven can go in this. So I'm going to line it with parchment paper and that way the brownies won't stick to the bottom, which they always, almost, almost always do. So as you can see, our coconut is not quite hot enough yet. All right, now I can actually smell that it is starting to toast. So you're going to want to continuously um, stir this around to make sure that your coconut doesn't burn. Um, and I'm gonna need two hands, so I'm probably going to have to ask for Mini Monster to come and help me.
Okay, so step two is make the brownies. And all you have to do is follow the instructions on the back of the box. And because I am making two uh, boxes of brownies, you're going to want to double the ingredients and the bake time. So I am using a 13 by nine inch pan. It's gonna take me about an hour to bake these. Joy, oh joy. Okay, so now that we have our brownies in the parchment paper, and basically all this parchment paper is going to do is going to reduce our cleanup time. Uh, we're going to stick it in the oven for an hour and see how it comes out. So the next step is to take your Samoans, and if you don't have a Girl Scout in your area, send me a comment. I have a Girl Scout. I know personally it's trying to reach her Disneyland goal, but she probably can't hear me over all the boxes. <clears throat> and basically it says you're going to push it down, push the cookie down until the brownie almost covers it entirely. And I thought one box would be enough, but I might have been wrong. I might have needed more than one box. No. Because they're not even at home. They're at a cookie booth. I think one box is going to do it. And there you go. Sinking to the bottom of the brownies mix. Alright. Yep, one box did it. Alright, so then you place it in the oven for as long as the directions tell you to. Which are, say to bake it for 26 minutes for one box. Alright, so the directions say to bake it for 26 minutes for one box, so we are going to put it in for 52 minutes and see how it comes out. Alright, so our brownies have been cooking for almost an hour. Now we're going to do the toothpick test to see if they are all the way cooked through. Okay, so I couldn't find a matchstick, or I couldn't find a toothpick, so I'm using a matchstick. And it comes out clean, so these are done. Next we're going to let them cool, and we are going to make the caramel toasted coconut topping. So, why is it upside down now? It's kind of weird. Okay, so, as you can see, I have taken it out of the pan and placed it on a cooling rack. There's the pan that I just used. It's clean, hence the parchment paper. It's a beautiful thing. All right, and so I've put it back into another cooler uh, baking dish so that it'll keep its shape while we do the toasted coconut topping. All right, so the caramel that we are using are the Kraft American Classic Caramels. And the method that we are going to use for melting the caramels is going to be, it is microwave, but it is, I think it's like, I can't find it. All right, so it's one tablespoon of water stirring every minute for two and a half to three minutes. All right, so there's all my caramels, one tablespoon of water, and a trip into the microwave. Here are my caramels after one minute. I'm going to stir them around and put them back in the microwave for another minute and then repeat. So after every minute you pull it out, you stir it and then repeat for another minute. Alright, so after two minutes it's completely melted. So we'll add the coconut. Alright, so here's my coconut. And I'm going to add the coconut into the caramel and I'm going to stir it around until it's completely covered and mixed up. Alright, now you're going to put the caramel coated coconut onto the brownies. Can, can you hold this for me? Just like that. Get the brownies. Okay. And we're going to try to spread them out as much as possible. 
All right, so here is our brownies covered in coconut. Next, we will melt and drizzle the chocolate chips. Here's our melted chocolate, and we're going to drizzle it. Can you see the brownies? Yeah. All right, we're going to drizzle it over the brownies. Ah! Yep, no. It's not pretty. I'm not a professional drizzler. <laughs> Isn't that because you're using a bowl? Probably. Oh. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think maybe if I would have... Oh, here the brownies. I think maybe if I would have used, like, I don't know, a pot, it might have been a little bit different. But whatever, we have lots of chocolate left over. In case somebody didn't have enough chocolate between the brownies and the chocolate sauce. Here's my 16 year old son and he is going to taste it for us and tell us on a scale from 1 to 10. Uh, 6. <laughs> a 6? Or 7. <laughs> seven. <laughs> okay. Do you want me to make it again? Uh, sure. Would you want me to make it for your birthday? No, no. No? Okay. Do you want me to make it before your birthday? No. No? No. I all right, Mini Monster is about to taste it. It's not hot. I felt it. All right, Mini Monster, on a scale from 1 to 10. The suspense is killing me, kid. On a scale from 1 to 10. What? 7.5? Okay. Well, what what do you guys think could, I could do differently next time? No, 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 it's just it's good the way it is. Okay, okay, it's good the way it is. No coconut. Okay, it's just brownies. Okay. What? The recipe for the Samoan stuffed brownies uh, turned out really good. Um, the brownies by themselves were really good, and then with the toasted coconut and caramel and chocolate. That was really good as well. And I think that they would have both made really good desserts on their own um, because when they were combined together, they were very rich. Um, so they were very good. Uh, everybody in the house gave them above average ratings. I believe Mr. Mann gave them and 7.5 or an 8.5 um, just because they were so rich so I think next time we'll do just brownies or maybe what I'll do instead is like the coconut the toasted coconut and the caramel with the chocolate drizzled on top of it and just have that by itself um, I think that would be really fun so Anyway, the description is the description. <laughs> the recipe is in the description below. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.